After two tough away games, we are heading back home to James Madison University and we're facing Georgia Tech. Now, you guys might have saw the video earlier today. If you didn't, there's a link down below in the description to it. Vad Lee had a couple of words to say. We retired his jersey. He's been a great ambassador for JMU and we wanted to honor him today in our very first home game of season number two. But along with Vad Lee, I was able to meet some other JMU players and they have a few things that they want to say to you guys. And I'll let them say it to you right now. I'm Justin Wellens, number 24. I play outside linebacker and strong safety. All right, we're really looking forward to season two um, of the series. You know, the defense didn't go as well as we wanted to last year. We got a new energized staff and uh, a lot of guys coming back, so we're looking to improve. Uh, Brett Siegel, linebacker. Um, we had a great year in 2015. 2016, baby, it's coming. Uh, Justin, Raven, all of us, man. We ready to get after it. Go back to our second consecutive bowl game for JMU. We might have lost, you know, some leaders on the team, but that's an opportunity for us to step up. Go Dukes. Now, a big shout out to both Justin Wellens and Brett Siegel for being a part of that video. Really appreciate those guys coming on. They've been a big part of JMU's defense, and we're hoping that, you know, JMU wasn't really the greatest in defense last year. So far, they're not looking like they're going to be good against Georgia Tech at this point. Marcus Allen ran for 17 yards, but we're hoping that Justin Wellens, Brett Siegel, and the rest of the JMU defense can come up with some big stops, and Andrew Anka right there with the huge hit on the running back. Now Thomas is trying to run this one, and again, Ankara comes through and lays the hammer down, getting another big tackle. He's a machine so far today. So Georgia Tech is forced to punt, JMU has the ball now. Disher's going to throw the ball to Domo Taylor. Domo Taylor, the most reliable hands in the team. Him and Ishmael Hyman have been killing it so far this season. Now Disher on second 11, rolling out to the pocket. Got some blocking here on the outside. The defense isn't even reacting on the edge. The defensive backs don't even see Disher, and he picks up 13 yards on the ground there. Now, speaking of on the ground, Khalid Abdullah is having a heck of a start to this season. Multiple rushing touchdowns already so far this year, and he's killing it on the ground here early. But look at this. Joe Disher's got a guy wide open. Brandon Ravenel was wide open, and Disher just threw it too far. We can't be too mad. He's a young freshman quarterback, a true freshman. So here in 4th and 4, we settle for a field goal, and our kicker just barely squeaks that one in to give us a 3-0 lead against number 6, Georgia Tech. Now, Justin Thomas, what is he doing? Kyrie Hawkins comes in and destroys him there in that play, getting a sack to make it 3rd and 12 now for Georgia Tech. Thomas is in the pocket. Pressure is coming. Wellens can't get to him. Charles Tunnel one-on-one -on -one coverage, and he can't make the play. He does get Michael Summers down, but he picks up 47 yards. That could have been a big pick, but unfortunately, we can't get it. Now, Marcus Allen goes for a first down here, getting eight more yards in the ground for Georgia Tech. Thomas runs a little bit of a triple option here. We end up getting him just before he gets in, so third and goal. Run a little bit of a motion here, getting that triple option, and Raven Green flexing, showing the muscles right there, destroys Justin Thomas and says you're not crossing the goal line today. Now fourth and goal, this is a huge play. Thomas goes in, he fumbles the ball and Raven Green is able to get it. Kyrie Hawkins and Justin Wellens were able to punch that ball out and Raven Green scoops it up. He made a huge play on third and goal to force fourth and goal. And then on fourth and goal when Thomas fumbles the ball, he picks it up. Huge play by the JMU defense despite giving us some yards early. They are looking incredible so far today. Now, we can't do anything on offense, so Georgia Tech has the ball back. They're trying to get something going here. Thomas, again, finding some room to scramble, and he goes right up the middle. We have a huge hole in the defense there. The linebackers don't react quick enough, and Thomas gets 22 yards there. He's killing us on the ground. Now, first and ten, he finds this time to Messick. Messick almost keeps his legs going and gets down to nearly the 20. On first and ten here, inside the red zone, 43 seconds left here in the first half. Thomas, again, running that triple option, but our linebackers are killing it right now. The outside linebackers... Give our hats off to them right now because they are destroying Thomas and not letting him get where he wants to go. But unfortunately, Messick finds a streak route wide open. 12-yard touchdown pass there by Justin Thomas to Messick. And that's where we're going to end the first half. Georgia Tech has a 7-3 lead, but I'm feeling pretty good. If our offense can get going, we'll be just fine. Now here in the second half, you can see that it's pretty even offensively. Uh, Georgia Tech has a little bit more time in possession. We just have to get our offense going. We've had some good plays. We haven't been able to capitalize and get down where we need to. And this is not good. Again, Isaiah Willis out to the edge there in that triple option. Georgia Tech makes it really hard to defend. Here, Thomas is going to find a seam. And oh no, he has some blocking. But Marcel Johnson is on his horse, showing off the speed. One of the fastest players in the squad right now. But Justin Thomas gets another 40-yard run. Now here, they try the triple option again. But our defense lines up there. Charles Tutt in on the tackle for a loss. Now, first and goal for Georgia Tech. We're trying to stack the line. And look at Andrew Ankara again. The backup quarterback is in the game because we hurt Justin Thomas in the previous play. But it looks like Thomas is back in now. So they go back to the triple option. They're trying to get to the edge. Raven Green makes a hit. But we can't stop Isaiah Willis from scampering into the end zone. That's a seven-yard touchdown run. And don't look now, but Georgia Tech 
has a little bit of a lead on us. It's 14 to 3. We're here in the second half. We have to get something going because if we don't, Georgia Tech could go ahead and run away with this right now. Khalid Abdullah says not on my watch though. 13 yards in that play. At first and 10 again. A little bit of a read option here. Khalid Abdullah again showing off the moves. A little bit of a juke there from him. Another first down run by Khalid Abdullah. Averaging 8 yards a carry right now. One of his career highs. A little horrible pass here by Joe Disher. He had a guy kind of open. Tried to thread it. But he almost threw an interception. So in 4th and 6 we line up for the punt. But you know what? It's trick play time, but it doesn't work. McGeechee can't really get anything going there. It's a loss of two yards, and Georgia Tech has the ball in prime territory. We tried to gamble there, and it didn't work for us. But look at our defense. Justin Wellens comes through in the backfield, gets another tackle for a loss. Our defense, despite giving up some big plays, has been mostly stopping the run. Now, Thomas is trying to run here, and look at those moves, but he fumbles. Justin Wellens with the pick. He picks that ball up. He gets another fumble recovery. Earlier today, he was there with Kyrie Hawkins, uh, forcing the fumble on Justin Thomas. Right now, he's picking it up. Marcel Johnson there. What a play by Kyrie Johnson or Kyrie Hawkins, Marcel Johnson, and Justin Wellens. The defense got a big play when we needed. So the third quarter is coming down to a close. He just under two minutes left. Joe Disher going to the read option, finding a seam here, trying to fight for the first down, but he stopped a little short. Here on first and ten, moving the ball down. Going to a halfback screen, and that's a loss of eight yards. We shouldn't have even thrown that one. We should have just thrown it away. But that's what you do when you have a rookie quarterback, a freshman quarterback. But look at this, not looking like a freshman there by Joe Disher. A beautiful ball, uh, 19 yards there to Rashard Davis. He catches that one. Could have been a pick, but a great route by a veteran receiver to make sure we held that ball. Now, Disher again on the read option. He's deadly on the ground and in the air. So 11 yards there by Disher. Going back to a read option, Khalid Abdullah has it. He's trying to get to the edge. Khalid Abdullah throws a few defenders out of the way, gets out of bounds, but not before he picks up 12 more yards. Khalid Abdullah, what a day for him so far. So going into the fourth quarter, we're down 14-3, but we have a chance. We just need to get in the end zone once and we'll be okay. So Disher lines up again, got a wide receiver option. Domo Taylor's going to catch the pitch. He's going to try and go in, and Domo Taylor gets a rushing touchdown, I believe his first of the season. What a scheme. What a call. Our offense looks so much better here in the second half, and we finally get into the end zone. We need a two-point conversion to get us within a field goal. So can Disher lead us to a two-point drive? He's going to roll out to the right-hand side. Pressure is in his face. He turns up the field. He breaks the tackle from the safety, and he goes into the end zone. Huge play by Joe Disher. He's making up for those bad passes he had earlier, and he runs right into the end zone to get the two-point conversion as he destroys that linebacker. Now, Georgia Tech only has a three-point lead, and they're trying to extend it here. Thomas goes out to the edge. Raven Green in on the tackle, but he misses. Looks like they're going to get the pitch out to Isaiah Willis, and Willis is going down the sideline. No one is even close to him. That is the exact opposite scenario that we wanted to happen. He goes for 56 yards in the house, so instead of being a three-point game, it's now a 10-point game, so we need to score, and we need to score fast. Now, Khalid Abdullah, we've had success with him, but the clock is against us right now. We can't run it but so much, but if we're getting big yards like this, look at Joe Disher. If we're getting big yards like this, maybe we'll run it a little bit more to try and get the defense off their edge. Now, here, Disher gets hit. He throws it, and it's just over the receiver. Ishmael Hyman and Rashard Davis were both in the neighborhood, but neither one could answer the door because that pass was thrown a little too far. We come back with a nice pass to Domo Taylor for 12 yards. We're right here where we need to be. We're in scoring territory. With under four minutes, we need to score quick. Now, pressure's coming, so we drop it off to Cardon Johnson. Cardon Johnson nearly gets the first down, nine yards in that play. Good to see him back here in the ball game. Here we find Domo Taylor. Domo Taylor almost gets into the end zone. He's stopping the one-yard line. So with Cardon Johnson in here, we let him find a way into the end zone. Cardon Johnson gets his first rushing touchdown of the day, and that gets us within a few points now. So after this extra point, we're only down three. If our defense can get a stop, we'll be okay. So first and ten, Andrew Akra, who has been making plays all season long and especially all day long with a huge stop. So third and seven. If we can stop Georgia Tech here, we have a chance. We still have two timeouts. Thomas is back here, and the pressure comes off the edge. A huge sack by the defense. What a play. Andrew Ankara again gets a sack. He has nine tackles in the day. That is an outstanding performance on one of our best linebackers. Now here, Karnan Johnson on the punt return goes out to the right-hand side, works his way back to the left, spins, and he's down at nearly the 50. So we have the perfect opportunity to get a field goal here. Disher in the pocket, throws it across the middle. Ishmael Hyman, haven't seen his number get called very much today, but 15 yards in that play. Khalid Abdullah working his way up the middle, fighting through all the defenders for another 10-yard rush. 
here on third and one. Need a big conversion. And Khalid Abdullah, he's up the middle. He breaks the tackle and he into the end zone. 17 yards. Khalid Abdullah makes a house call. We needed the most. With under a minute 30 seconds, we have a four point lead. Over 350 yards of offense. We were horrible in the first half, but thanks to our defense, we're still in this ball game now. Justin Thomas is scrambling. We need a big hit. Oliver can't get it, but we clean him up there with Taylor Reynolds. 15 yard rush, though. We have to stop it. Georgia Tech has all of their timeouts. They're only down four. We need to get a stop here. Now, Justin Thomas throws it deep, and Messick apparently gets a foot in for 18 yards in that play. Third and four, we get the pressure coming, and we almost get the interception and the sack. Huge play by the defense. Taylor Reynolds in on that hit. So fourth and four. What will Georgia Tech do? Thomas is scrambling. Runs into his own man, but he emerges somehow. He's stumbling. He slides. In under 40 seconds, they are inside the 25. Now Thomas again is scrambling. We have to keep an eye on him. He's moving. Raven Green misses the tackle. We're down. Justin Wellens in on the tackle, but it's down at the one. So first and goal for Georgia Tech. Can JMU's defense stop him here? Wellens is in on the blitz. We get a hit here, and Agra again in on the tackle. Huge play by Andrew Agra. 13 seconds left. No, they get the pass to Antonio Messick. A four-yard touchdown reception. That's only his seventh completion of the day, and it goes for the game-leading touchdown. So eight seconds left. Can our young quarterback lead us to victory here? He gets hit as he throws this one deep. We got a man in solo coverage, and it's almost intercepted. So here it is, one second left. Can JMU get a miracle? We need this play to happen. Disher throws it as he gets hit again. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's completed, but it goes to the defense. So we are going to walk out of here today with our first loss of the season. JMU loses to Georgia Tech. Jamal Golden had eight tackles and an interception. A huge day for Georgia Tech. Justin Thomas, while he didn't have a lot of yards in the air, he killed it on the ground with 165 rushing yards. We just didn't have an answer for him. We had him contained in a few scenarios, but just not enough to win this ball game today. So hats off to Georgia Tech. They retained their spot as one of the best teams in the nation. JMU, while they didn't win, it's a moral victory because we got close. We almost pulled off the unthinkable. Khalid Abdul with over 130 rushing yards. Ishmael Hyman had a pretty decent day, but hats off to Andrew Ankara for 10 tackles. The defense is better. The offense is getting there. We'll see what happens next week. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.